I realise by hitting him, um, that has got to be one of those mental things I've seen in this entire playthrough. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Tucker Race Driver. You join me in the second half of the Elite B League, which is one of two leagues that are the Elite League, basically. It's four pro race drivers run by pro race drivers and we have made the cut. We're here in our Mitsubishi Evo. We've had not a bad championship so far. We're currently tied for third in the championship. We have 13 points. The championship leader has 15 and the guy in second place has 14. It's incredibly, incredibly close. We're here at Zolder. I don't really have a great record here at Zolder. Oh, God. Uh... And then we go to Oscherschleben, where I'm a little bit more confident, but Las Vegas is just going to be death. Complete death. Not even, like, because of a big crash, but just poor results. So we need to get as many points as we can out of Zolder to set ourselves up for a good finale. Let's go. Now, we've found so far that the Evo isn't the best car here. The TVR is definitely the one to be in with the power, but I'm not sure how much of a nightmare that would be to drive. And I think this is possibly only the first time in the playthrough where we've had wet conditions twice in a championship. Oh, my God, it floats. I don't get how fast those TVRs are. I really don't, but they are mighty quick. Now, don't forget we own the Mini as well, so if this doesn't go well and we want to try it again, or I want to try it again, then we can drive the Mini. I'm wondering what happens if we get a podium in the championship, though, because usually in the championship, or in the game, I should say, if you get a podium in a championship, you then sort of have a cutscene or a phone call, or there is a result of getting a podium, basically. Look at Craven's little Mini. Doink! Oh, that is sweet by the Evo. Yes, 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 it's very fast, it's lovely, go away. Here the revs rising as he tries to get by. There's Jack. And his all-conquering charger. Yeah, dead good, mate. One of the best racing drivers in the world, and you bring a charger. Look at that thing, ready? I'll move out of his way in a minute on the straight. I'll just give you an example. Oh! Jesus, Jack. Then again, you are in a charger, so just go around corners. Right, what the TVR's come flying past here. Where is he? There is he. Watch. Maybe not. Ooh, that's terrifying. First corner in the wet is terrifying. Jack's suddenly found his second wind. That was a lot slower than it needed to be. Now look at this. <laughs> that's just stupid. Oh, cheers, Jack. Really appreciate that, mate. Yeah, I think the TVR is the car to be in, everyone. However, to get it to perform like that, get out the way. It might be an absolute pig to get it to race like that, that's the thing. Like the AI are obviously very good at handling cars that they just pathfind basically to the finish, whereas we have to deal with the actual driving physics and capabilities of the car. It could be an absolute oversteering bag of bolts that we don't want to go anywhere near. Nice job. What on God's earth was that? Well, that's one of our potential championship protagonists, or challengers. No, Evo, do not do that. Go away, Jack. No one asked you. Oh, that nerf was so sly. Evo versus Charger, it's two worlds colliding, in it. That felt lovely, that whole sector. This weather is horrible, though. No, 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 no. I was so scared of it wheel spinning there that I went down to half throttle from full throttle. Come on, little Evo, I really believe in you. We believe -o in the Evo. That's going to be the episode name. Oh, why have I never been able to do that chicane before? That felt fantastic. Come on, we've got a healthy gap over Jack now. That's six points. Well, that TVR is certainly a monster, isn't it? But like I say, I bet it's horrible to drive. We'll have to try that championship and see if we can win it. But that depends on how the rest of this goes, because Zolder, I'd say, has been kind to us there. Second place, I'll take that all day. Six points. Get in. 
And it was indeed Ewan Hamilton that took the race victory in the end. So six points our way. Not bad at all. Ahead of Johnson and then Rodriguez, who I think is the other one in that TVR. I didn't really confirm that last time. And then that means we're now second in the championship. Two points ahead of Paul Craven and three points ahead of Rodriguez. We're only five behind you and Hamilton, to be fair. So this is close. This is really, really close stuff. We're going to save at this point. And we're going to move on to the penultimate round of Elite B, which is going to be good old... I can't remember. Oschersleben, Oschersleben in Germany. This circuit is pretty amazing, to be fair. And I think, did that say it's going to be... Yeah, it's nice and sunny. That's all we want. Let's just check something. Uh, yeah, Isabel Rodriguez. Sorry, I was saying he. I thought it was Ivan Rodriguez. That's just a name that sticks in my head for some reason. Isabel Rodriguez is driving in the TVR. So her, Ewan, and Paul are our main rivals, and they're all ahead of us on the grid. So... Here we go then. Oschersleben, what have you got? We've had some great races here before, actually, I must say. We've had some amazing races here, so I'm hoping for more of the same. Straight on it. Look at the way them TVRs go. That's not fair. It's just not fair. We're 100 metres into the race and I'm complaining. Sort the balance of performance out, Codemasters. Go on, Paul. Paul in the mini. Absolutely sending them. What is that? If that's a Cobra... Come on, it wouldn't do that. Paul, sort it out, mate. Ugh. Look at Paul round the outside. Come on, lad. This is terrifyingly close because there's a car right behind me. Oh, it's no longer a Cobra. It's evolved, everybody, to Charmeleon. I mean, charger Charmeleon. Mom, they're just gone. Jack, the <laughs> Paul's in the lead. Is that Jack? Yeah, have it. Uh oh, don't drive onto the racing. That's the second race in a row you've done that, Isabel. For f sake. I tell you what, Paul Craven's giving these TVRs a go in that mini. You know, I'd be well intrigued to see what that thing's like. Just not got the confidence to stay flat around there. We've now got a huge gap to the cars behind. We need to really beat that Mini. And it's only two laps. Oh, no. I've only just realised. Have a crash, Paul. Do it for the lols. Do it for YouTube. Do it for my subscribers. They love you. Bollocks. Well, like I say, third place is fine. Points, 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 points. We now go to Las Vegas, though, where we're not going to score any points. That is scary. Paul Craven, Ewan Hamilton is probably champion after that, and then Rodriguez still finishes in fourth place. That's the championship. We're now tied with Paul Craven, so we need to finish ahead of that mini. Then again, it's not going to be quick on an oval, or is it? I feel in this game it's probably going to be capable of, like, 200 mile an hour. Uh, Ewan is champion, so well done, mate. 11 points clear. Top job. Final round. Now, as we've seen, other than Bristol, oval racing in this game is pure pain. We've not had a bad run this season, to be fair, though. That's, what, three podiums in a row now? I'm happy with that for my first run-through of this because I have no idea what to expect coming into this. And we'll have to see what happens. If we do finish in the top three in the championship, we'll see what comes of it at the end. If there's any other cutscenes or any other part of the story or anything of that sort of kind. I imagine there may, may not be because of the fact... Can we start on pole? That's got to be a first... But we've already had, like, the end credits and stuff, haven't we? Yeah, of course. Mop Top Junior is going to win. Oh, look at the... Right, come on. <laughs> this race is 16 laps long, everyone. 16 of this. We're now out of the slipstream. You know what? I think the key is D-pad. I've started using the D-pad instead to just flick it. Is that Jack? Help us, Jack. 
Come on. Come on, Jack, go. Be a friend. No, no, not you. That's Ben Michaels, sorry. Go, Ben. Ben, go! Forward, you head. Don't worry about me. Go on, Jack. Come on. Come on, you're an American. Have you seen where the race leader is? What? Yeah, it's a lot smoother on the D-pad. Don't hit each other. Oh, until you do that. We're going to go get that TVR after this. I'm telling you. I'm sorry, but the next episode's going to be a step back in time, everyone. Go. That's it, Jack, go. No, Ben, don't be an idiot. There we go. Right, work together with me. Come on. Jack. Hey, it's good up here. Oh. Don't do that. You moron. I told you we're going to get no points. If we finish here, we're getting no points. We have to finish out of both of these idiots. Get some points. We're only on lap 5 out of 16, by the way. I realise by hitting him, I'm... That has got to be one of those mental things I've seen in this entire playthrough. There's the other one. D-pad is definitely the way to get it smooth around here. Doesn't look great because the car wiggles around, but honestly, it's so much smoother. Those TVRs are just ridiculous, aren't they? I bet if we were driving it, it wouldn't be that fast. Two hours later. Look at these cretins in flying formation. That's just mental. I'm pretty sure the TVRs would have finished by now. They're two laps ahead. Oh no, sorry, we're just coming onto lap 14, so they're on lap 16 now. So they should be finishing the race. I'm wondering whether it's going to make me do the extra two laps while they slow down, or whether this will be the final lap. These guys are getting held up behind this mini here, which has given me an opportunity to close back in very, very quickly. If this is the last lap and I don't get this, that's going to be quite frustrating. Here's the run. That's going to be it, isn't it? No. So we're in the slipstream of these pair now. The chance of a championship point. Going back to stick instead of D-pad. I changed halfway through that slide. Look, the TVR's going slow. Because they've finished. Back to D-pad. I'm lifting. I don't want to touch him. Go on, crash into the back of it. Go on. Ah. Now they're going to get slipstream off me here. One lap to go. There's a flaw in the game. I was worried that one of the other cars ahead of us would have been Paul Craven, but that's actually him there. So if we get this single point, then we're going to beat him in the championship and finish second. I just don't know who else was right up there able to challenge us. I don't think anybody was close enough. And we're going to get slipstream as well from the mini, which is going to keep us in front. That is Paul. Hi, mate. Bye, mate. Let's hit the TBR just for laughs. Come on. Bang! Off the windows. Oh, and he's... Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. Well, that was Elite B. Ruthless is what that is. That race is horrific. Goodness me. Ewan Hamilton wins again. 44 points to him. Oh, Rodriguez beat us in the end. We still got third in the championship, though which I'm happy with, because if there's ever going to be a trigger for a cutscene or anything else or any result of that, it's from getting a podium, so we'll see. But that was a very exciting championship indeed. Really, really cool. It's great to see the differences between the cars. It's horrible to see the differences between the cars because of those TVRs. We're going to try and get ourselves one of them, unless something major happens here. Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, it's gone to that screen. It does this usually when you're going to get a phone call or some result of what you've just done, I think. No, clearly not. You just basically accept the offer again and then go into whichever of the elite leagues you want to go to. Okay, so the mini, uh, I don't think, is a valid option. Um, in terms of the job offers, then, what championship did we not do? Was it the Southern European Challenge, the SEC? Yeah, we did the Northern European Challenge, which is the... What is that? Let's go back. Let's just bear with me. So this is the best way of looking at all the championships when you go to free race. And the Northern European Challenge, yes, was the thingies. Sabs. The Southern European Challenge. Oh, I forgot about these. We've raced in Impreza, but in the Pacific Challenge instead, haven't we? What offers have we got here? It's not going to tell us here, Chaz, because that's where we're going to get our TVR. 
da, 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 Northern European, Southern European, and that's in an Impreza. If you can help us improve on last year's performance and win the championship, we'll give you an extra 100 grand as a bonus. That doesn't really matter to us at this point. I really think that's a good opportunity to go and get that TVR because I really want to try it in that. I could try it in the Mini, but I want to go for the TVR first and just see because that thing just is an absolute missile. And again, it's like the Corvette in the other championship, which I think... No, it's a Lotus Elise that we've got the offer for in the European Tour. There's just a certain car that's just better but it's maybe only better when the AI use it. I don't know. So we're going to go for that for next time, but that's going to be all from this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you in the next one.